Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the tutorial series for Grand Theft Auto 4. And today we're going to be installing an ENB. Uh, we're actually going to install the Cry version 2 ENB, since I think a lot of you guys have been looking for an ENB. And uh, keep in mind that this can kill your frame rate. Uh, some systems just can't run ENBs, um, and you can find one uh, like I have in the description um, of my LCPDFR videos, which is the old game for video one because it ran on lower end systems and it lo still looked good. Uh, but if you want to look like this, this is the eye candy version four that Polecat 324 made. It's still in beta. It's not released yet. It's still got some bugs and some quirks, uh, and he's constantly updating it. I don't know the status on it currently. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking, but it is based off of the Cry uh, version two and B. It's just, you know, kind of fine tuned. So first things first, let's go open Google. I was on the fly gym, uh, Jason page looking at the dash eight here. Uh, no big deal for X plane 10. And uh, let's look up cry and B version two. And right here at the top, we got cry and B version two 1.0.7.0 slash EFLC. That's for episodes of Liberty city. Uh, let's see here. Let's hit download. And we're going to download the ENB. So an ENB really is not a lot. It's just a few files. Uh, and almost all the ENBs are pretty much the same installation. Um, so let's go here to my root. And I'm going to rename this my single player like so. And I'm going to uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna rename that one single player snow. Oops. SP snow. And uh, my tutorial one, I'm going to make that, the one that we were just working on yesterday, we're going to make this one GTA 4. So, bam. So, let's go to our downloads. And my download is going to be a little hectic because i got been kind of just going overboard with X-Plane stuff and uh, downloading mesh scenery files and everything else. But here's Cry ENB. I'm going to go ahead and extract that guy. There he goes. And open. So, now... Please read all the texts is a file of zero bytes. He just made a file in there to basically say, please read all the texts. And if you know uh, my tutorials, I tell you, just read them. It's you're not going to you're not going to be missing out on anything. Uh, you just uh, basically need to get over it. So you have install, you have options, you have settings, you have ELS presets, so on and so forth. Some presets. These are all optional presets. Um, and under optional, you have depth of field, dirt, lens, textures, you know, blah, 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 blah. And uh, read the, te uh, the text files inside there. We don't care. We're just going to be installing just the install today. So um, like with the uh, eye candy version for the Polecat made when he sent it to me, we had settings here. And this is for high end PC, low end, mid end, ultra end, very low end. And this text file even tells you exactly what I just told you. So if you're having problems you might want to try one of these, and it's just going to be the emb.fx uh, file and the ini that you're going to be changing, as well as the command line.txt. Yep, we're getting a little crazy today. We're doing command line stuff, um, and while we're in the command line, we're going to be creating a command line. Um, I'll go ahead and show you some of the things that uh, you need to look out for. So first things first, let's go into the install file. This is pretty much straightforward stuff, right? Uh, common goes into common, so on and so forth. So let's do this one thing at a time. Uh, and uh, since I, I am right-handed, I'm going to actually swap these guys. I want my uh, download to be on the left, and I want my install to be on the right. So let's go to the common. Common. As you can see, it's just we're doing the same thing. So data, data. Now, the loading screens underscore PC dat, that's what's going to make the difference in the loading screens where it's going to, so that's completely up to you if you want them, or oh, it says ENB series and that kind of shit. Uh, but uh, visual settings dat is the one that we care about. We're going to copy it over. But for the sake of fun, when we don't care, uh, 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 keep in mind, before we do this, you see how that just popped up and it said, hey, do you want to, you, you sure you want to overwrite? Make sure, I can't tell you guys enough, enough, enough. Make a copy of your entire GTA 4 installation. Now, if you can't do that, I understand if you don't have enough space for it. Let's go to common. Let's go to data. And remember, 
I created this little guy, a backup folder, right? In case things go wrong. And this is what matters because if you screw this up and it doesn't work, you can't go back unless you do back your shit up. So if we go to visual settings, dat, which is right here, uh, where's it at? I'm an idiot over here. Copy that sucker. And let's go to backup and paste it in the backup folder. Okay. You don't have to do this if you did it my way, the executive way of just, you know, making an entire new uh, installation folder. So let's uh, move visual settings dat over. We'll copy, we'll paste, we'll override it. Yes. Good to go. So we go back. We have shaders, right? Let's go into the shaders. As you can see, DB, DCL, all these guys, and I have NV6, NV7, NV, who knows why these are in here. Uh, it doesn't matter. The only ones we need to overwrite are these. Obviously, all of that, copy it and paste it. Remember, if you didn't listen and you did or you didn't have the room, make a backup folder, take all this shit, copy it, throw it in the backup folder, paste. 22 megabytes. Yeah, it seemed like a lot there, Windows. Um, and let's just go ahead and copy all this over and paste it and do this for all four items. And yes, 541 conflicts, copy and replace them. There you go. Back, 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 back. All right. So now we move on to PC, right? So let's go into PC. Data, data. There it is. Effects. Let's go into effects first. Now, I know this is a lot of stuff at first, but, you know, you just got to go through each one of these. Remember, backup, backup. I can't say it enough. I don't want to hear you guys leaving comments saying I screwed my GTA up. It's your fault. It's not. I told you how to fix this. Um, okay. And let's go back. We'll do the maps. Maps. Props are props. You can see it just, it's all the same kind of thing. Roadside. Roadside. These are the lamppost image and IDE files. I'm just copying them over. Copy and replace. Copy and replace. Okay, looks good. And uh, let's go back to maps. And then we have the time cycles. Here the time cycles are. And if you can't run an ENB, maybe you just want to find a decent time cycle mod and throw it in there. And that's the time cycles. They're, they're located here. Uh, let's go ahead and copy and paste these guys over. Copy and replace them. Looks good to me. Remember backups. <laughs> I know it sounds like it's uh like I'm beating a dead horse, but trust me. Textures. Here they all are. Copy all these over, paste them. Uh next three conflicts looks good. All right. Back we go. All right, so now shaders over DAX1. Let's make a copy of that sucker and paste it into our main directory. It's asking for this. The thing is is it's it's saying, "Hey, Here's extra shaders, and it's, I, I don't understand if uh, perhaps maybe the, the certain ENB is looking for shaders inside of this folder, but if they say they want it there, you might as well do it. It's not going to hurt anybody. Uh, the Ballady Gate Tony, this is to install to that. This is the same for the Lost and the Damned. We don't worry about that. We're just installing the regular GTA 4. And here, oh my God, what's this? How to install. There it is. Well, I'm showing you. So let's continue. Command line TXT. Let's copy this guy over. This thing is dangerous. And I say this because a lot of people will give you this command uh, line.txt file just with any mod. You have to be careful when you're installing this because when I open this, look, no memory strict, no restrictions, available vid memory is 2.0 and shadow quality 3. That's what this ENB comes with. And whenever you go into, like I said, those presets that it came with for high end, low end, mid end, we talked about, that's what changes these things. So just because Shadow Quality 3 and available VidMem 2.0 is good on his, doesn't mean it's going to be good on yours or hers or whoever's. So you have to be very cautious when you're installing a command line. Now, if you ever want to use a uh, steering wheel, you just put use direct input. I know that one. Oh. Use direct input. That's how you would use a steering wheel. That one just for fun. So we're not going to say that. We just threw the command line over there. That's what he wants to begin with. So, uh, you know, a command line is just going to be basically doing things that you can do already in the game and sometimes outside of what it does uh, with the menus in the game. D3, D9, DLL. Obviously, we don't have one of those. We need that. We'll need the DAX. Why do we need the DAX DLL? Because the DAX DLL is going to call to the shader over DAX folder. We'll need that. We don't need a D sound DLL. 
We have the latest one from LCPDFR, so let's try not to do that. Now, if you have a game, let's just throw these two over here first. If you have a game crash, then you know what? Back up this D-Sound DLL and then use his and see if that helps, okay? Um, because uh, you just never really know. dx 9 settingsini we're going to move that over here, yeah, like so. And DX is DirectX 9 is all it is. Uh, and there you have the SMAA.DLL. Keep in mind that the D3D9 DLL is also shared by a program that's very popular for doing live streams. It's called XSplit. Okay, they share that same kind of DLL. If you do run an ENB, you cannot stream, live stream GTA 4. It won't let you. Uh, you can do it with um, OBS. OBS, that's what it was. Okay, so yeah, OBS, you can stream it with that because it does not use that D3D9 DLL. Keep that in mind. What's the D3D9 DLL? It's the DirectX 9 crap. So uh, excellent Microsoft stuff. Effect.txt. We don't have one in there, so we got to put that there, right? Yep, let's do one thing at a time. Let's just double check and make sure we don't already have something because it's very easy for us to take all of this and just throw it in there and overwrite. And once you do that, you're not going back unless you made a copy of your uh, entire installation. So nbbloom.fx, that needs to come over as well into the main directory. And how do I know all this goes into the main directory, you may be asking? Well, look, this is how this is uh, the install folder is shown the actual directory of your main directory. See, common PC, uh, so on and so forth. That's kind of what they're talking about there. Let's move along here. enbclouds.bmp. That's going to draw those clouds in. We'll hit. I made a shortcut because I'm dumb. Uh, we want to just hit paste. There we go. EMB clouds. So let's see. EMB clouds, FX, EMB FX. We get and hold control down and just do all of these since these are not already in there. And we can see that. Look at the E's. By themselves, these are the main components of the ENB uh, and that D3, D9 DLL through that guy over there. Readme doesn't have to go in there. If you're feeling frisky, go ahead and do it. SMAA, we don't have one over there, so that's got to go as well with the effects and the .h file. Excuse me. Drinking soda this morning. Uh, and hit play. Paste, I mean. So that looks good. So we have all of this completely set up for an E and B. There's no reason this shouldn't work. Uh, and if you were smart and you made a backup before we even began, then you will be in good hands. I, I can't think of anything else. Like I said, if you guys do run this and it's in your, it's lagging, it's terrible, you know, don't freak out. Let's go to the, uh, let's go to the settings here and, uh, look in a high end, low end, mid end, start with mid end. I, I'm, I got a pretty decent computer, but Mid end is going to be, I think that's kind of what I'm running. I'm not sure. But if that's the case, look at the command line. Let's open it up. No mem restriction. Uh, we have no restrictions at all. Available mid vidmem 2.0, NOV blank, and no pre cache. So those are options to help get uh, better results out of this ENB uh, for you. Uh, ENB effects, ENB series, INI, all three of those. We would copy those over and we would paste those in there like so. And yes, we will co copy and replace them. So as you can see, each one of these, even ultra end is just changing the command line and B series. Uh, a very low end is changing a lot more. It's even uh, manipulating the DX nine um, information here. So that's pretty much all you have to do to install an ENB. And um, if you're having problems at first, let's have a look at the ENB, uh, I and uh, ENB series dot INI full uh, file. This is the one that uh, it controls pretty much a lot of stuff. So if you look here, let's look at the engine. This is a big one. Force display size is on false. So it's going to try to adapt. Now, if you find it being way too big or whatever, or as you can see here, display width is at 1920 by 1080 P. If you're running 1280 by 720, try doing 1280 by 720. Some ENBs are finicky. Some want uh, you to manually put the number in and some of them will with this on false will just automatically know refresh rate is obviously you're going to be your um, uh, monitor refresh rate and anti-aliasing quality is on two. changing that could change your frame rate so I would go with the settings the way that, that he brought them to you uh, and play with those and if you have to further tweak them go ahead uh, anti-aliasing upscale we're not going to talk about the super sampling modes and how 
it gets anti-aliasing because if you you have seen in the very beginning, it's like 640p, the original Grand Theft Auto 4, and you have to upscale, which is make it big and then, then bring it down to get that anti-aliasing. It's kind of what they're doing there. So you have all those options, um, and pretty much you can change the light intensities uh, and all that and play with it the best you want. I wouldn't even mess with it. The Crying EMB uh, version 2 is fantastic by itself. Um, if I could, you know, show you how to install, uh, you know, whatever, um, I can't even, if it ever does come out, um, if he ever gets around to releasing it and let's, uh, fire up GTA and see if it works. Rockstar GTA four. There it is. And you can see we have ENB series like so and, uh, play, play, quit. I uh, would not quit. We'll hit play on the left side. Obviously, I was just doing that for a um, confirmation of uh, my audio sync. So I'll hit play here and let's just hit start and see what happens. Um, this is a fresh install. I've never fired this up since I have modded this with you guys. Um, so we're just going to fire it up and it should be daddy's back. You bitches and drive Roman blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. When you first start Grand Theft Auto 4, if you have to reinstall the game, you know what it's like. It sucks. So <laughs> we're going to see what the Cry Crying Bee looks like and all that stuff here. Uh, you know, some people like to give you tutorials and then they don't show you the product of. Oh, I already did it. Okay. So we do have Crying Bee working kind of laggy on my system, even with the medium settings. We may need the low settings. Very bright. But nonetheless... It worked. It doesn't look too terrible. Run in front of a car. Like so. All right. So let's do LCPD far. See if that worked. We installed that, right? Alt P. P. Let's do this little guy here. And let's go with force duty. Enter. There we go. So that worked fine. Oh, shut up. All right, we did that. Beautiful. So, looks like it worked. Um, trainer's working. Uh, F4. I hit F3 to start it. F4, and then I'm moving around with this. We got the FBI car. Remember, we installed this FBI car a while back. Ooh, hello. And now we can see it in action with the HG2s. And it even has the original. How about that? The original siren and all that stuff. Yay. So pretty cool. It worked fine. I'm getting about uh, 27 frames per second with this. Uh, to, oh, no, about 30. So not terrible, but the lights don't look very good during the day. Let's see what it looks like during the night. Uh, but no, like I was saying, a lot of people on the Internet will give you a tutorial and then they won't show you the fruit of your labor or what it looks like. So let's go to night and you can see. We just don't have a very good looking uh, night lighting settings because we don't have the ELS set up. Um, so that's a downfall that I'm seeing. Maybe we'll have to tackle that. Oh God, it's like we're playing LCPD far already. All right, so yeah, the lights don't seem to be, the bloom doesn't seem to be working. Sometimes you might have to restart the PC to do that. Um, I've had that and even having to hit start. Uh, if you lose your bloom, it's something to do with that. I'm not really 100% sure why it's not working, but regardless, we installed the ENB, and if you don't like this ENB, there's surely oh, there's other ones uh, to do. All right, so that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, hit the like button if uh, it helped you out, if uh, you enjoyed the video, if you think it'll help others. Um, I need to figure out why the... We'll have to do that in a future uh, lesson and figure out why we're not getting bloom from the lights. That's kind of weird. Um, but regardless, the crown and, and the outside and everything else looks pretty nice. So there you have it. Um, so that's going to do it for this one, guys. I'll see you all on a future tutorial.